I want this to be a weekly series. What dumb episode 9 BS is being dumped on the internet today? Don't get too proud of this technological terror you've constructed. So this new leak is 100% BS. I don't believe a an ounce of it, but I want to share it with you because I laughed hysterically and hopefully you can laugh with me. And hey, maybe maybe there is a tiny bit of truth in this leak and we'll see it in episode 9. Uh, God help us if that's true though. So let me share this new episode 9 <laughs> leak and I want you to remember that somebody thought this up. Somebody that lives on this earth thought this up. First, the film is titled The First Apprentice because that's a great title, and instead of a long time ago, the film will start with a thousand years earlier in the unknown regions, and cuts to a pre-crawl sequence between Matt Smith and CGI'd young Palpatine. Because they're going to change how they start Star Wars movies. 100%, let's just... Shake this shit up. But let's continue because besides Matt Smith killing Palpatine, there's a lot more dumb to dive into. By the time of episode nine, the First Order has disappeared and the last transmission the Resistance intercepted was the fleet had gone to Ricotta. Yes, they have beaten the hell out of the Resistance, have them cornered and have most of the galaxy under their control. And then they're going to choose to just disappear the entirety of the First Order. If you're wondering about the Ricotta in Legends, which is no longer canon, they were a humanoid species that were technologically advanced and developed early in the galactic history. Their society was corrupted by the dark side of the Force, and it turned them into a race of scary warriors that conquered and enslaved. It kind of sounds like someone's bitter about them no longer being canon and wants them to be back. In episode 9, Luke's text talks about another sacred Jedi text that contains the path to Rakata and life eternal. However, gasp, the last known copy was destroyed in the Clone Wars. Luke only had one lead and that was an ancient Hut historian whose scribe droid was said to have made a redaction of ancient Jedi and Sith texts called the Journal of the Wills. No. The leak says that C-3PO recognizes the name of the Hut historian because his old arm belonged to the scribe droid. This makes the main goal of the movie to find the arm because it should contain the motor memory of the ancient scribe. Oh man, but a spy drone overhears all this and reports to the Knights of Ren, which puts them on a frantic chase to find the arm. My goodness, another movie with a chase scene. This is what we all wanted. I want you to guess where this chase eventually leads them. Go on, guess. It's a place that's rough, irritating, and gets everywhere. I could have actually made a really crude joke here, but today I'm trying to be an adult. Just for today, though. Tatooine. They end at Tatooine and at Obi-Wan's old house, which is occupied by Kylo Ren, who is now good, because we don't need that explanation. Maybe he was always good. Who cares? The Star Wars. Everyone heads to the Ricotta together, but oh no. Hux is already there, but thankfully the tomb melts his face off when he tries to possess it. Jesus fucking Christ. Now this is where things get truly special. Yes, more special than they already have. God help us. I'm going to read this right from the leak because it's just... You need to hear exactly as it is because it's just that stupid. Wrens, Matt Smith's, Force Ghost tells Rey that he had founded the Jedi Order, but that a more ancient Force wielder, McDermid, had mastered an even greater power and had gone by many names. Bane, Plagueis, Sidious. He abandoned his new order and joined Palpatine. Palpatine is in quotations, by the way. But realized his master wanted to destroy the Force itself, so he killed him. But it didn't work. Later, an antiquarian named Snoke found his tomb, so he taught him his secrets. Both Ren and Luke's Force Ghosts start to fade away, and Rey isn't able to use the Force anymore. Palpatine, in quotations again, materializes as a samurai-looking apparition, and the movie ends on a cliffhanger. Don't do death sticks, kids. Thanks so much for watching. Please like the video and subscribe for more Star Wars videos.